Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about what people aren't telling you about dunking in NBA 2K25. A lot of people have been requesting for me to make a playlist out of this series simply because these are some really good discussions as well as me giving you tutorials and actually giving you the nitty gritty about 2K is actually dope. So I've actually done that. You can go ahead and click that little eye thing or information button or check the link in the description or chat. But I want to talk to you guys about dunking because I feel like as someone who is a slashing build, we are very, very hindered. Um, I'm not sure if you're feeling this, but if you are, I got the answers. I know what's going on. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So as someone who has put a lot of time into the game, as far as the my career side and hitting the gym and in testing out all of my theories everywhere, such as Proven Grounds, the theater, the city, rec center, and even Pro-Am. I've touched every single mode you could think of, even street ball, Chris Matthews games, lethal shooter, if you didn't know who that is, as well as Chris Brickley. I've touched every aspect of my career where you can go out there and dribble a ball. So with my findings, I want to let you guys know that dunking is completely broken. Not broken in a good way, no. It's broken in a weird, balanced way. And I'm gonna discuss what I'm talking about here. But first, I wanna let you know about all of the animations that I have, everything that is equipped to my player, so that if you have these things equipped and they're happening to you, you can go ahead and give me your feedback on that. And if you don't have these things equipped, they may help you in the long run with your build, all right? As far as attributes go, I have a 87 driving dunk 87 that is that is pretty high for a build that is not primarily a slasher as well as i have a 75 vertical which means i get a ton of dunk animations i get some of the best dunk animations in the game as well as a poor man's john morant and stuff like that we'll talk about that dunk package in a moment but as you can see i do only have a 64 speed with ball that is an issue that is a problem but for other builds out there we're going to talk about what's still hindering you even when you have a high speed with ball i have an 89 speed and an 86 agility so after defending on the perimeter sliding back and forth with great launches i'm able to launch while still on defense out on a fast break when a shot goes up that means my agility is amazing, gives me a great launch, and the speed that I have is insane as well as the motion style. We'll talk about all that, what it looks like, and what I do with it. So let's move on. Um, as far as my badges go, these are my tier one badges. Simple, nothing too crazy, silver posterizer, some 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 okay, you know what I mean. Um, my tier two badges, none of this matters on anything except for that aerial wizard now you might be asking pod why did you put a max plus one on a badge that you rarely are going to even trigger because people aren't going to throw you that many oops that's a lie alley-oops in this game are currently broken if you throw yourself out self alley-oop guaranteed to go in if somebody you cuts you on a back door or whatever the case may be say yo pod go and throw it I'm catching it. If there's no opposition in the paint that is a power forward or center, it is literally 99% a slam. Whether that slam is gonna be triggered to no one being there, or if someone's there, they might get caught in a contact animation. Now, I know what you might think. be thinking. That sounds like NBA 2K21. That sounds like when people used to get drug all the time on defense, I'm gonna let you know now. If you are a build that has no interior defense, no strength, and you try to either go for a steal or go for a swat or whatever the case may be, and your attributes are not up to par, I am dragging you to your death. I'm just going to go ahead and say that now. Now, that's the plus side of dunking. We haven't gotten to the nitty gritty of what's really wrong with dunking because I know probably a few people in the comment section are already saying, pod tell me why i keep slowing down tell me why i keep only doing layups and i got a 96 driving dunk pot tell me why we're gonna get there but i still have to finish letting you guys know what i have equipped to my build since i do play a lot of my career my goat skills are really really good for instance i have something called dance on them it gives me a 99 driving dunk 
a 99 driving layup, a 99 ball handle, and a 99 speed with ball. So for everyone in the comment section saying, Pod don't know what he's talking about. He only has a 64 speed with ball. He only has this amount of dunk. He only has this amount of layup. He don't Listen, my bill plays as in if everything's at 99, at, as in if everything is max, maxed out attribute wise, not animation wise, but attribute wise, these things are maxed out. So when I turn on dance on them, I still get the same issues. I still get the same problems. I still get the same ghost contests. And we're going to dive into what those ghost contests actually are. Okay. Now, as far as my takeover, I am currently running Slice. Slice is the best slashing takeover to me in the game. Not only that, it comes with Poster Machine, where it actually gives you the ability to make skill dunks easier. That means 360s, tween the legs, all kinds of just straight up skill dunks, all that, pulling the meter, everything. It just gives you a better chance at doing that. So not only do I have the takeover, but I have the takeover ability with it. All right. Real quick, let's talk about the animations that I have. I wanted to go over my motion style. Alice Caruso is the best motion style in the game. If you're a shooting guard or a point guard, um, you can try, you know, if you're a lock, Kawhi Leonard, uh, Justice Winslow. If you're a swing or a back end, Dennis Rodman is really good. And if you're a big or, you know what I mean, anything like that, uh, I think Idu Banks, I think that's the name, but uh, Jalen Suggs is really, really good. Obviously, you can see getting back in the open court, whether it's for offense or defense, it's pretty okay. But it's not good for fast builds. Like if you have a, a 85 plus speed, you shouldn't be on Jalen Suggs. Jalen Suggs is only going to hold you back. But Alex Caruso, that's the one. If you're a point guard or a shooting guard, this is the one you need to get. Out on the open break, um, just moving around the court freely, it's it's a really good uh, joint. Plus, not only that, when you catch the ball, you're kind of like, like sitting up straight, kind of waiting for that. You know what I'm saying? Like all, the entire motion style of Alex Caruso is just really good. Um, as far as my dunks go, I have on um, Anthony Edwards and Latrell Sprewell. But I'm going to go into the dunk style creator to show you the other dunks that I do have equipped. So um, I do have on 360s. Um, I have pro contact dunks, which means I can dunk on somebody off two feet. Um, I can dunk on anybody off one foot, but I do have reverse dunk so I can go up under the rim. But what I've realized is that um, when you're going for under the rim dunks, sometimes you step out of bounds more often than any. All right. So if you're in that corner, you would want to take a front cut. Don't take a back cut and then try to go reverse. And also don't try to drive out of that corner baseline, drive out of that corner around the defense into the center of the paint. But then like at the last second, like, you know, hit the stick to, to try to go under the rim. Um, also, I have regular standing dunks. Again, I told you, Anthony Edwards and uh, Latrell Sprewell, the poor man's Ja Morant package right here that I was telling you all about earlier. Um, also, I have Pro Elite and Zion regular alley-oops. Alley and when I'm in the city, I got to get flashy. And also, I have Pro Contact Dunks for when I catch alleys as well. So, as you can see, Jimmy Butler was not happy with that. But I do dunk on folk. You know what I'm saying? I do dunk on folk. I ain't going to lie. It, it, it do get a little crazy out there. But um, those are the dunk packages. Now it's time to get into some of the gameplay. We're about to go inside of a My Career game. I'm going to show you a couple different plays. I'm going to explain to you what's happening in these plays and why you keep going for layups when you think that you're supposed to be dunking in certain situations. Why when you pull the meter, for some reason, 2K pulls you out of that animation and makes you go for a layup or sometimes makes you just go for a straight turnover because you think that you're you're actually leaping when you're not. Someone's holding on to you. Someone's pulling you. The game is beating you up physically, mentally and even emotionally, if, if I'm being honest, because there's certain moments where you feel like I should have dunked on that person. But instead, you get slowed down and sometimes even do standing layups instead of doing an actual dunk.
So we're going to talk about launch spots. We're going to be talking about the speed at which you're going and what you should do in certain situations. So let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, so we're off to the races and I'm just going to throw a lob real fast. So I want to show you what actually happened in this animation and why it was so safe to do a dunk like this. All right, now, as you see these replays, you notice Hero is right behind me. But if you notice, Hero is running the entire time that I throw that lob. So let me give you a, a, a slowed down instant replay, all right? So once MB passes me the ball, it's basically uh, off to the races. Now, of course, if I would have taken a few more dribbles, you would have noticed like the slowdown with the speed will ball. But I decided to trigger a lob. Now, if you notice where he decides to throw the lob from, I am literally, I'm going to tell you how many steps. Um, one and not even two steps. I, I, I actually slid at this point. At this point, I'm traveling right but i'm only one step inside the three-point line limitless takeoff is actually back in the game and you can now dunk from further than you could in previous 2ks so for me i took off and just instantly was inside of a dunk animation which means from here guys this first step when i slid and put both hands on a ball this is considered a gather this is me inside of my dunk animation which means tyler hero had no shot at catching me no shot at defending me nothing because if you'll notice in some of the clips that i'm going to show you later in this video there's always a defender trailing you with his arm on your back but if you notice tyler hero could never not once put his arm on my back in that scenario. So when I tell you about Ariel Wizard and why I have it on Hall of Fame and why I think you should have it on no less than that is because when throwing alley-oops, you don't have to worry about the ghost contest from behind because that's what the main issue of what people aren't telling you about this game is that ghost contests do exist in dunking, but there are ways in this game that you can negate the ghost can test, but you have to make sure that you do things at the right time. So let's go ahead and check out the next clip. All right, so on this play, I'm going to call a pick and fade, and I'm going to try to dunk it with square. I'm sorry for that injury. I'm, I'm so sorry for that injury, but we need to go over that for a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the camera to me, all right? Now, this is a... a easy two-step just easy lane nobody's nobody's defending the lane really everybody's just standing still he doesn't get hit by the screen but if you notice it slowed me down immediately because i was already one step inside the three-point line with an initial burst to be able to take off but the game decided that I was being contested the entire time. I need, I'm, I'm gonna run it back for y'all. I'm gonna zoom in this time. I'm gonna zoom in this time. Once I got to this point right here, that initial like hardcore turn to the middle of the lane, I am being contested fully. I am in a bump animation right now. Okay, I'm going to make it make sense. I'm going to make it make sense. I believe this is Rogier, right? Look at Rogier's body language after he this basically the screen never touched him, right? Look at his body language. Arm arm was already extended out. His forearm. If you look at his forearm, that is a body up animation his forearm looks like that because technically he's on my hip right now when me and him are so far apart from each other we couldn't be any further from each other i'm so far away from him yet the game has said no he's guarding you this is a hip to hip animation now if you notice do you see how his arm is out now is he's he's riding my hip 
He's literally riding my hip to hands up defense. That in, entire play of this hands up defense, he is supposed to be chest to shoulder animation with me, but he's not. He never touched me, yet the animation shows that I'm being contested the entire time. Like, literally, look at me. I'm being contested the entire time. That is a, that is a right-handed layup on the left side of the rim by just pressing square. That's what that is. They gave me a contested layup in this scenario because he was riding my hip the entire time. Ghost contest. That that is nothing. That is nothing more than ghost. Literally, right in my hip, not touching me. <laughs> Next clip. All right. So on this play right here, I'm actually going to call a screen and fade with Embiid, and I'm going to try and go for a meter dunk here. All right. Now let's talk about that for a moment. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all watch the replay, but let's talk about that for a moment. So simply put, this is where you want to get all of your dunks, all of your ISO plays from on this part of the court. This is where you want to start. If you are a dunking build, this is where you want to start. See how far away from the basket I am. Do you notice how close the half court line and the three point line are from each other? If I told everyone that you can dunk it from taking one to maybe two steps inside of the three point line, the gather and the speed boost that you have to create, you don't have much space to do so here. The court seems like it's bigger, but honestly, it feels a lot smaller because check this out. Off the initial step, right? This is, by the way, by the way, this is uh, Joel Embiid's uh, triple threat style. But off the initial bounce, right? I instantly turn that corner. Now, of course, with the fade, he hit that screen pretty hard. But don't you see how my shoulder is still like someone's contesting me? Like, do you notice that? Like me turning the corner... I still feel like I'm being contested until I get right here. Now, everybody knows this dribble animation. Everybody knows this. You know what I mean? We've seen this since 2K11. You know what's about to happen, right? So in that instance, I am clear for liftoff. I'm, I'm literally clear for takeoff, right? Nobody's contesting me, and I go for a meter dunk. Something so simple, right? But when I got here, if you notice, no arms, no nothing, just freedom. No contest, no nothing. Now, let's call the isolation play and let's see if we can do some bully ball for a moment. Now, I should be able to drag this person into an animation because of a high dunk. Try to pull him into a meter dunk. It didn't happen. It gave me a layup. Now, let's talk about that for a moment. Let's zoom out real fast. Let me explain it to you. He's giving me the left side. He's literally giving me the left side. I beat him here. He's already trying to catch up. But do you see the ghost contest? He's not on my body, yet he's on my body. Does that make sense to y'all? He's like, he's out of the play. This is an easy takeoff. Now, I should have dunked that. I have I have Anthony Edwards dunk package on. I should have been able to take off no problem. No problem. I should have been able to take off. I should have been able to slam, jam, cam this one. But I didn't because of that this split second. This split second right here. From the moment that he decided to run to my body and not get an actual contact, and but we're we're supposed to be shoulder to shoulder right now. That's why 2K decided to give me a layup. The ghost contest. Let me get, show you some more clips. All right. Let me go around the world real fast and go for the meter dunk. No meter dunk. No meter dunk at all. Chat. 
I have an 87 driving dunk, right? Like I'm 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 trying to explain it to y'all the best way I can, bro. Now, there's no one near me at this moment of takeoff until now. Do y'all see his his elbow? Do y'all see his elbow? Chat. He was riding my hip the entire time. No one knew. Not even me. Not even me. I didn't know, chat. I didn't know. Not even me. He's smiling at me, saying, you're not going to get past me. I was riding your hip the entire time and got a swipe. Mind you, he got a swipe, chat. This person was nowhere near me. He was behind me in my gather. And all of a sudden, now his arm is on my hip, full extended, chat. His, his arm is on my hip, full extended. This right here is a speed boost. So if anybody knows the problems that's going on with stills, we haven't talked about that yet. There is an issue with speed ups at certain moments from the defense that are inexplainable. And what I mean by that is when they happen, you think you are open, you think you are free and clear, but the defense is riding your hip, right? There, let me let me let me show you when it starts. I'm gonna show you when the riding the hip starts. He's riding my hip. This point right here. He's on my hip chat at this at this moment. He's on my hip. I don't know why everybody's yo, 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 PG. Why are you puckering up, G? OK, let's 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 let's, 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 let's go ahead and look this way. But OK, again. He's right on my hip here and he's able to speed into a swipe, which wasn't called for a foul or anything like that. That's not what I'm worried about, but it's the simple fact that he was able to speed up and contest that shot and turn it into a contested layup. This is an easy lay baseline, but look at me double clutch it. I double clutch the lay. I double clutched the lay as in if I just been hit. Riding my hip slap. He didn't even slap me. That's that's the crazy part. He didn't even slap me. He didn't even slap me. The contest is so ghosted that he swiped down on air. And I still went for a double clutch layup because I was contested. All right. Now, let's go for another meter dunk. But I'm going to come from this hash here. Turned the corner. Couldn't meet her dunk. Couldn't meet her dunk. For the life of me, I couldn't meet her dunk. And you know, you already know why. You already know why. You already know why. Because I'm being contested in the back by the defense. I am being contested. In the back, he's holding my jersey at this point. So it does not allow for me to get the meter dunk off. The meter doesn't even pop up because I'm being contested in the back. And then somehow, God willing, it allows him to get side by side to me and, and contest me for a layup. Now, I know what y'all thinking. The angle seems direct. It seems like he should be able to catch up to me. But when I get into my 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 power dribble and my step, he's behind me in that angle. But essentially, he can ride my back because while riding my back and pulling my jersey down, tugging on me, it allows him to get enough motion to then now be on the side of me. All right, same play. We're going to run a screen and fade. And we're going to try to dunk it with square.
Remember I told you that the defense can make you turn into a standing layup? Y'all thought I was lying. I know you probably thought I was lying. But yeah, that's what I did. That's what I did. I did a standing layup because there was a big in the paint that wasn't even really contesting me. This right here is a ghost contest. That right there is a ghost contest. Me pressing square said that in that moment, they weren't sure what Adebayo was going to do. So it decided to give me that animation and I bricked it on <laughs> and I bricked it off of just pressing square. Mind you, think about it, right? You might be thinking, no, oh, Pod, you gotta you gotta put the analog straight to the court. I did. Pressing square made me do that. Stop pressing square. <laughs> Please stop pressing square. Okay, so I want to tell everyone what you're supposed to do in these situations. This is supposed to happen every single time that you drive to the rim. Throw a lob. Throw a lob. No one can contest you if you actually just throw a lob. They're showing you the replay of how I did this up the entire floor. You come off that screen tight and throw that lob. That's all you got to do. You throw that lob, no one can come for you. No one can come for you. You get into your gather so high off of throwing that lob that nobody can contest you. Literally. Literally. Just throw lobs. If you are someone with a high driving dunk, and you are in a scenario where you need a bucket, you need to score, throw that lob. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Pi, you can't you can't do that two times in a row. You 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 literally can't. That's a, that's impossible. That's impossible, right? Off the screen, throw the lob. It can't contest you when you throw the lob. You're already in your gather animation. You're already in your gather. They can't contest you when you throw the lob. Look. You see that you see what he tried to do, right? You see how he tried to ride my hip? You can't ride the hip of someone who's already in a gather. Did y'all peep that? Like it's it's slowed down enough for you to see it. He put his arm out on my hip and tried to ride my hip while I'm already in a dunk gather. I can't, I'm not making this, this stuff up, man. I'm not making it up, chat. Literally, I'm not making it up. I'm in a gather, right? Look, this is, I'm already in a gather. I, I done already threw it. People want me to play 2K early in the morning. Listen, I threw the lob already. But he's trying to get in his animation to, to ride my hip. Buddy, how do we tell you? How do we tell you? You're you're cooked. He don't even know what's going on. He's elbowing me in the chin, in the chest, chat. Trying to rob my hip. He's elbowing me. He's elbowing me. Throw the lob. All right, on a break. On a break. Throw me the ball. Look. Now, what do you think that was with? What do you think I dunked that with? I'll give you one guess. Ah, you got it wrong? Okay, I'm going to tell you what I dunked with. I dunked with the analog up. Two-handed dunk. Do you see what just happened? I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in. Because I don't, I don't think y'all saw what happened. I don't think y'all saw what happened. I am one to two feet away from him, right? I get into my gather. Do you see that? Look at his feet. Look at Tim Hardaway Jr.'s feet. Ghost contest. This is a contested dunk attempt. Yes, from this far away. This is a contested dunk attempt. Because when he plants his left foot right there, look at where it slides to. He planted it here. 
He planted it here, chat. Let me turn off the UI. Look at where he planted his foot and where he sped boost to and slid to. He slid into a contest. Nasty work. He slid into a contest. He never took another step, chat. He never took another step. He This left plant right here, he slid the entire rest of the way into the contest dunk. That is a contested dunk from starting from here. Like, like legitly, I've been trying to explain it to y'all. You are being contested every single time you dunk. You are never open. You may think that you're open. You are not open. Okay, off to the races, off to the races, off to the races. Throw the lob. Throw the effing lob. Full court, 99 speed with ball. 99 speed with ball. 99 speed with ball. Are you listening to me? We all know. Tim Hardaway Jr. speed is not 99. Kevin Love's speed is not 99. But in that scenario, they both were able to keep up with someone with a 99 speed of ball. And I know what y'all thinking. Why didn't you do a push dribble? Why, why, Pa? Why not a push dribble? Because I want to show y'all that even with the high speed of ball, it don't matter. Look at the ghost. L listen, I'm being contested, chat. Listen, look. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to make it make sense. Let's let's look at it from this side. Kevin Love is pulling on my jersey here. He's pulling on my jersey, right? But little do you know, he's on my hip. It may look like he's tugging at my jersey, but he's on my hip here. This is a contest the entire way. Look at that. That is bad because how does he get to the other side of my freaking hip? He was on my hip the entire time. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. He was on my hip. This is him on my hip the entire way until his arm drops and he decides to go to another person which is the corner see when he broke off look how long it took for him to break off from here he's riding my hip the entire way until it tr until it literally transports him or teleports him to the other side of my hip and he decided to let go he decided, like, as an AI, he decided to go to the corner and gave it up to Tim Hardaway. So by that time, I've already thrown my oop. I've, I'm already in my dunk gather from here, chat. Remember I told y'all one step into the three? I'm into a dunk gather from here. Limitless takeoff is back in the game. You just have to know when and where to utilize it. And you want to utilize it from here. One to two steps into the three-point line. Utilize that thing and go get that ball. Throw your lobs. All right. So, I want to show y'all one last thing before this game is over, right? We're going to go with a Hezzy. Hold on. Go ahead. Yep. We're going to go with a Hezzy. Cross. And we're going to throw... The, ooh. Ooh. I was supposed to throw the lob there. Darn it. But chat, do you see that? Do you see that though? Do you see what I'm saying? Even though it's a shot clock violation, the play was still going on before I threw that lob up. Let me explain to you why. If you are a person who is a slasher, you need to be throwing lobs. All right. Even even though the play was broken down, I, I completely botched it because I fat fingered it. Because who would make self alley oops X and circle? Why? I get it, but why? 
It's hard as hell to press both of those and R2 at the same time on the same controller. Even though you don't need R2. You don't need R2. But you need R2 for that initial burst. But look. Cross. Riding of the hip. This right here, I'm in a freaking contested state. This is someone pushing at my hip. I try to like, you can tell, you can tell that my player is in distress, chat. Look at his face. Ah, I'm getting contested. This hurts. Look at his face. He's being contested. He's being bumped. This, this is a, this is a man right here that is, has, all of the time in the world. But that man right there. That man is hurt. That man is being bumped. He's being bumped. All that space, but he's being bumped. But initially after the bump, because I've, I've, I've explained it many of times. Once you turn that corner and you get one step. You don't even need one. You get anyone anywhere near. That three point line and your tippy toes is close. You throw that goddamn lob because once I broke free of this hip, that's when I threw the lob. Look, that's a lob animation. My hand is curling the ball like that's a carry. If I if I go in and, and turn it, no, that's a lob animation. I broke out of him riding my hip by throwing a lob. And he couldn't do anything about it. So if somebody's riding your hip in this game, throw that mother effing lob if it ain't nobody in that paint. And I guarantee you, it's a finisher. So all in all, if you are a slashing build and you have been running into issues where you can't figure out why for the life of you, you go for layups over dunks, especially in situations when there may be one or two people in the paint, or maybe there might be somebody trailing you or riding your hip. It's because of this contest system that 2K has set in place. For whatever reason, players are contesting you, even though you can't see it. And I'm going to be honest with you. No one can see it. They get certain speed boosts in certain situations to bring on that contest that throw you out of your dunk animation that throws the meter off and doesn't allow you to do that. The only way to negate that is to throw a self alley oop, which means if you are someone like me who plays out of the corner, if you cut back door, you can get that all day. That's easy work. Whether you cut back door or you front cut, and from that corner, every single time, because you're not necessarily taking any dribbles, you're going from a pass to a gather. But if you are at the hash and you cut, which is further from the corner, obviously, if you cut from the hash, and you have to take one or two dribbles. Be prepared that that one or two dribble animations that you get allows the defender to catch up to you and put his arm out. And if you see that arm. You know, you shouldn't go up with it. it unless you want to go for a layup or, a con, you know what I mean? A contested lay or whatever. You can do that if you want to get those two points. But I'm going to tell you now, trying to be flashy, trying to be hardcore, trying to be, you know, postery, all that, that goes out the window. At that point, you just have to be happy with a bucket. Now, in the, in the fast break setting, if you catch the ball at half court or even the three point line and it's nobody there. Your center, your power forward, your small forward, whoever got that rebound and kicked it to you, I'm sorry, but you can't get your rebound. I mean, your assist. You can't get your assist. I'm sorry. I'm throwing the self lob. That's just me. That's what I do. I know a lot of people think that that's mean and you should, you know, allow your teammates to get some type of teammate grade. I got to I got to care for myself. I'm sorry. I got to care for myself. And that's just how it's going to have to go. Um, if you are somebody who works around screens and whether you have a 64 speed ball like me or a 99 speed ball, you have to make sure if you're going to meter dunk, if you're going to dunk with square, whatever, I, I just don't dunk with square. I'm just going to put that out there. I don't dunk with square. 
I dunk with the analog every single time or I'm throwing the self lob. Yes, right, left, forward, back. It don't matter. I'm using the analog over square every time. Square gives you the least amount of dunks. I don't know if it's called like a probability mathematical equation that 2K has in the game for square, but I don't dunk with it. Um, now, again, um, fast breaks throw the self lob. Uh, in the in the uh pick and roll situation, if you if you're in the middle of the court, like if like the way I'm looking at you, if if, if I'm if I'm the backboard and you see me, throw that lob. If you're coming from an angle, don't throw the lob. Don't throw the self lob. You're gonna mess yourself up. Just at that point, be happy with the bucket. But um, what I, what I will say is, people aren't talking about this ghost contest. Um, they're talking about it everywhere else. They're talking about it in shooting. They're talking about it. You know, when you're dribbling, it, it looks like you know there's like an invisible wall in between you and the defender. Yet you're getting bumped, and you don't understand why you're losing adrenaline from just doing simple moves. It's because that person is technically on your hip. So when you try to cross to go back the other way or you throw behind a back or whatever, if it's not an escape, it's a bump. <laughs> You're literally everyone's bumpy. That's that's just how it is right now. Um, but I believe, you know, when 2K figures everything out with like, you know, the little fixes and stuff like that, maybe they'll address it sometime soon. But for right now, I'm just going to take advantage of what the game is offering me. And that is Hall of Fame or Legend uh, Aerial Wizard. And I'm throwing myself self lobs. And I'm telling other people to throw me lobs because it's broken. It's cheese. And I'm going to exploit the game for what it has in the game. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but what I can tell you is if you're somebody who is listening to this video and you are the passer, just be weary of when somebody says, yo, throw that lob. That is not a big down there waiting to defend because that will result in a turnover eight times out of 10. All right. But um, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. I hope I explained it in the best way, form or fashion that I could. I know that sometimes, you know, when I'm reviewing things, things seem frustrating and it may feel like I might be mad or angry or, you know what I mean? Like, no, it's just me trying to school y'all like to let y'all know like you're not you're not alone like literally you're not alone everything that you go through in nba 2k25 or any other previous 2ks content creators go through it celebrities go through it probably even devs or social media people that work at 2k go through it so they know they see it but we can only address things that we have video proof of so what I will say to everybody who's been watching this video, if anything like this has been happening to you and you see it, record it, go to to 2K's Discord and report it. You know what I'm saying? I, I know it hurts that, you know, when a video game comes out, we have to be the people who test it. Um, and you seem like somewhat like of a of a paying guinea pig. But essentially, in order to have a better game. That's just what we have to do as a community. Every other community does it. Every other community has a voice about their video game. Yeah, there are always drastic sides to the arguments and discussions. But at the end of the day, we're all just looking for a better game. And you do have a voice. All right. So I just want to go ahead and say that. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to holla at y'all in the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I uh, hope to see you in the comment section. Peace. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba. King Kong, King Kong.